Hi, hello once again. Now we're gonna um, look at the starting circuit. Now there's a way to troubleshoot the starting circuit. Now I'm in front, obviously, the fuse panel. And I have a meter over there that I'll show you in a second. This is the diagram, let's just go over it pretty quickly. As you can see, there's a relay right here. This is the main relay right here. This relay, first you turn on, current comes here. Ignition switch as usual in the start position, through here, through here. We went over this many times. Activates the coil, I call this the input. Once that happens, current flows here, 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 and closes this switch to 87. Where's a good point to start to see if all this circuit is working? I think like, like I explained to you before, 87 is the best. 87 tells me this is closed. If I get tw uh, 12 volts over here, it tells me that this is closed. That means that, that this energized it. That means that 12 volts is here. That means that this fuse is good. That means that this ignition switch is good. That means that this fuse is good. Okay? So all that, I can get that information, boom, in one shot. Okay? So remember, we go if we go over here, we'll measure 12 volts regardless of anything. This is the main point. By 30 going to 87, it closes that unit, that circuit. That tells me that this is working everything above is also working problem is now this goes to starter motor the solenoids right well obviously that's a hard place to get access where is the best place to get access right next to the load this is the load I obviously this is why I go over here 87 okay no I'm gonna go over here and you're gonna see on the meter to find it Let's go over it. Starter relay is right here. Okay. These are the small fuses. This is the big relay over here. I'll show you in a second. Now, let me show you a couple of things. Hopefully you can see it. This is the starter relay. As I mentioned before in the other ones, I have a wire that I put in the terminal. I put wires, I'm gonna show you exactly. I put a, a wire in this terminal, 87, which is one going to the to the starter, which is the most important. I put another wire in 30. So I'm gonna get 12 volts over here regardless because it's always connected. So if you look at it, I put a little wire with a resistor and I put a little wire to the other terminal, 80, 87 and 30, okay? When I take it out, first I'll show you the voltages. When I take it out, I'll show you exactly what I did, how I put the wires. First, we wanna get the voltage as close as we can in the circuit with the relay activated. That's number one. So again, this has four terminals this has four terminals. We're interested in these two. <laughs> okay, mostly obviously this. This tells us everything is working. And then we have to worry about this. Okay, now, so I just told you 87, uh, 30 has voltage. The meter is over here. Let me try to put the meter over here. The meter is over here. Hopefully you can see it. Now, this is the meter that I said the best multimeter around. I took and I put it on something called minimum, maximum. What is that going to do? You see all these numbers? Hopefully you can see it with the glare. The average, maximum, and then you have over here, over here you have the minimum. So everything is displayed in one shot. That's why I like this meter. And this is the present voltage of what we're measuring. This is the highest voltage we measured. This is the lowest measured. This is the average of both of these. We're not interested in average. What we want to see is, I'm going to look over here at the minimum. Remember, when I crank, that battery voltage is going to go down. Maybe 10.5, around there, something is going to go down. 
that's going to tell us that that relay is working at the output but like we said the other one over here we should measure 12 volts at the other one at, at pin 30 regardless let's see if we do okay i'm going to this pin right here how much you're measuring you're measuring 12 volts okay now i'm going to take this wire over here and put it right over here see it okay right here okay you gotta watch the numbers hopefully i can get a good place to put the meter i have to turn the camera a little around but hey okay you gotta watch the numbers hopefully there's no glare you're gonna watch the numbers over here when i crank it that 87 that 87 right was 12 volts it's gonna drop that tells me all of this is working that tells me that the starter motor is pulling a lot of current and that's why this is 10.5 remember this is a good vehicle we learn first on a good vehicle all right watch the numbers on the voltmeter this will tell you that the relay has clicked is activated and this will tell you the output that the output is going to this in one shot watch the meter okay Now, now, when you saw it, when it when it was over there, you probably saw over here, 10.5 volts. Once it starts cranking, you're not gonna see that voltage anymore on that relay. It happens that fast, obviously. Once you start it, once you start it, then you could let's go over it again. Once you start it, once you start it over here, you're gonna see that voltage very quick while I'm in, in the run position. And that that voltage was there on the meter over here. Now, what do we measure? We measure zero. Why do we measure zero? Because now we're not activating anymore this relay because we're not in the start position. We are in the run position. Okay? So, on the start position, you should have seen this. About 10.5 on the meter. Let's try it again. Let's see if it holds it. Try it again. Okay, that's how you measure the starter, the relay. You have to put it in memory and you have to put it on minimum maximum. Let's try it again. Now, when I take this out, you're gonna see how I do it. Let me turn off the vehicle. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Okay. What I did was, I had a relay over here. I put a resistor here, as you can see. I put a resistor. Hopefully you can see this. Okay. Where the resistor is, there's four terminals four terminals 
I put this one over here, a lead in this one, and I put another one here, this one. You could put a resistor or you could put something else. Show you, you could put a lead over there, it'll be easier. Okay, here's a lead. I'm gonna put this lead in this one. Okay, that's the lead. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna press down on it. Okay, as far as I can. Okay, now I have this to show you. Now we're gonna measure it again. We're gonna see how much it measures. Okay, so again, we're at, again, same point. You take it out, you put the lead in, and you measure 87. Let's see the meter. We're gonna put on minimum, maximum. Okay. Hopefully you can see the meter. Should be able to. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put on this. As you can see, I'm gonna put on this right here. Now, watch the meter again. Okay, now, you saw this voltage over here, actually it's 11.6, that's the voltage that was present at that 87, we are over here, that's the output, the max, that's why I have to put on minimum maximum to get it, that's when it, that's how much the battery dropped, remember, I, 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 I wanted to show you that I turned the vehicle off and right away I turned it back on. Now you're gonna have a charge on it called the surface charge. So it's a little higher than it should be. But 11.6 is what it dropped to at the starter. That tells me, what does that tell me? All of this is good. We have to worry about this if there will be a condition. I hope you understood that. You go to this point, you put a lead over there, you put a lead over there. Once we crank it in the start position, we, this should fall 11, 10.5, around there. That tells you all of this is good. That tells you you are cranking current from this, a lot of current. So if it is a problem, maybe the flywheel, maybe the engine. But it's certainly nothing over here because not only did it drop, but it dropped 11.6 volts or like I said before 10.5 volt which is good showing me this is pulling a lot of current and all this relay is activated this relay is working look at the look at this see 11.6 why do I have zero over here this is the present voltage zero this is open this relay is open because I'm not in the start position anymore I'm in the run position that's how you could tell with a relay and circuit how to test it that's why you need the minimum maximum setting on a voltmeter. Now I could do something else. Watch. Let's say I move this out of the way. Whoops. Now what I could do is we have zero. Let's try to put on hold. The hold function. So the last number that's recorded should be on that. Let's see. That went too fast for me. That's why the minimum maximum will hold, will hold that, that number. Hold, I'll show you on, on the battery when I put on hold, if I'm measuring something, 
it will hold that number. But anyway, I think you understand the best for this is minimum maximum. And with this meter, let me put on minimum maximum. With this meter, let's see if I got if I had on a, a hold. Hold on. This is hold. Try it again. Now, like I said, I have to put on minimum maximum for this. Because the, you know why? Because the last number that's, that came up was a zero, and that's the number it's holding. So you're not gonna see 12 volts or 10 volts if you put it on hold, which is the memory function. You're gonna see the last number that it recorded. What was the last number? A zero. Right now it's a zero, that's what it's measured. That's why it's holding that number, okay? That's why this number is the last number to be home. Watch when I go to the battery, I will show you something else. Anyway, that's how you measure something in circuit in the relay. I'll see you in the next video.